Currently, we're facing an international pandemic, and West Virginia was really one of the last states to be impacted by that. I don't think that any of us have seen anything like this happen in our lifetimes. What is your take on the coronavirus outbreak, and what advice can you give to West Virginians in dealing with this virus? Sure. You know, I, I actually was shopping at Walmart last night, and it was an interesting experience to see which sections of the shelves have been evacuated uh, entirely and which things have been untouched. Um, but aside from that, I think the number one thing that we can keep in mind in West Virginia, and we're good at this, is um, you know, we don't need to get too overly worked up about this. And we need to remember that uh, we're each uh, other's neighbor. And we've gone through things like uh, Hurricane Sandy here in West Virginia, and we've gone through the, the Derrico back a few years ago where we had major power outages in this area. And one of the great things about West Virginia that really sets us apart from the rest of the country is that we still are a state where neighbors take care of neighbors, and we look out for each other, and we help each other. And so going without power for a month maybe wasn't the most comfortable thing whenever that happened with Sandy and, and having four feet of snow in Webster County, for example, wasn't the most comfortable thing as it related to Sandy. But what we knew through the whole thing was that we were going to work with each other and we we're going to take care of each other. And that's what I encourage people to do is, um, sure, we need to take this seriously, uh, but at the same time, uh, be prepared to help out where you can. And... Um, and I think that we'll do that. That's what West Virginia is all about. That's why we love this place.